The devastation in Oklahoma is just hard to digest. But the power of storms to generate damaging winds is incredible and a threat to all of us. News 13's Frank Fraboni joins us with tonight's reality check on the dangers of damaging winds. And Frank, scientists have been looking at just how devastating these winds are for some time uh, now. That's right. Researchers have been studying the damaging effects of wind, hail and rain on homes and commercial structures. They're uncovering new information they hope will help protect property and lives. The tornado that struck Moore, Oklahoma, had winds clocked at 200 miles an hour. But the wind doesn't have to be nearly that strong to cause catastrophic damage. To learn more about the dangers of strong winds, I visited the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety in Richburg, South Carolina, a $40 million test lab funded by the insurance industry. After a major event, there's a lot of finger pointing. The brainchild of Dr. Tim Reinhold, the center's vice president and chief engineer. It's really a, a way for us to reproduce what's happening in the real world in a controlled environment so that we can understand what is really causing some of these dramatic failures that we see. The Institute is home to a giant wind test chamber. Here, scientists put building codes to the test by generating hurricane force winds using giant fans like this one, 105 all together. They built two homes and placed them side by side in the test chamber and cranked up the wind. The home on the left came apart at 95 mile an hour winds in just four seconds. It was built using typical Midwestern building codes. The home on the right was fortified to withstand minimal hurricane force winds. With the way that people build in the middle of the country, where you're not using metal straps like we find in hurricane prone regions, you have toenails a lot of times holding pieces together, and it comes apart as a, basically a house of cards. And we see it over and over again, tornadoes. Watch again what happens once the door blows open on the home on the left. Protecting the openings is a real important part, as you see from this video, that once the wind gets in a building, the loads go up dramatically. Dr. Reinhold says it's like blowing up a balloon. Once the door blows open, the wind blows in and then until it pops the balloon. He admits even the strongest buildings won't stand up to some tornadoes, which can exceed 300 miles an hour. But as we approach hurricane season with winds from 75, typically to 150, simple steps can protect life and property. Number one, cover windows and doors with hurricane shutters or plywood to protect the openings. Clean up around the home to remove limbs and other objects that can become projectiles. And consider sealing roof decks to minimize damage that can be caused by water intrusion.